Taoiseach, the domiciliary care allowance is, as you know, a monthly payment made to families with the child that has a disability so severe requiring a child needing care and attention or supervision substantially in excess of another child of the same age. Taoiseach, I'm sure you're aware that this morning parents from the domiciliary care allowance warriors travelled here to the Dáil to once again raise the issue of allowances for the families of children with disabilities. And when they came here today, they invited you and your government to walk a mile in their children's shoes. I want to applaud them for their campaigning work on these issues. I want you to explain to the Dáil why it is your government felt it necessary to write to the thousands of families in receipt of this payment and placing that payment under threat. I think you should be aware of the real anxiety and worry that those review letters have caused. And of course this stress is added to by the very unfairness and lack of transparency in the decision-making process to award this care allowance in the first place. Uh, your minister, uh, Joan Burton, last month announced that she would in fact review that very process and I want to welcome that. Can you tell us when the, that review process will be completed? And can you give a commitment, Taoiseach, that whilst this process is underway, that no parent, no child, will have their domiciliary care allowance payment cut off? Thank you, Deputy. Thank you, Deputy MacDonald. The, 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 this, the, this allowance is paid at the rate of €309.50 per month. And this rate has not been reduced by government and is not intended to reduce that. The state pays the uh, domiciliary care allowance uh, to parents or guardians to recognise the, uh, the role that they play in the bringing up of their children. This was introduced back in the 1970s in recognition of the extra care and attention that many parents provide for children with a severe disability who are, who are challenged and who are cared for in their own home. Responsibility remained with the health boards, as Deputy MacDonald is aware, in the HSE until April 2009, when it was transferred to the Department of Social Protection and was put on a statutory footing. A domiciliary uh, care allowance is a monthly payment to the parent or the guardian of a child who requires, who requires care and attention um, or supervision that is substantially in excess of that required for other children. The allowance, as I said, is paid at that rate, and this rate has not been reduced by government. Yes, the Minister did say that she uh, proposes to carry out a policy review of the domiciliary care allowance last May. Uh, the proposed uh, terms of reference have been uh, set out by the Minister, who will bring this memo to Cabinet shortly. Uh, it would be her uh, intention, once the membership of the group is finalised, uh, Deputy MacDonald, uh, that to get it underway as soon as is possible and in fact her intention would be that the first meeting should take place around the middle of July. Um, obviously there would be monthly meetings held thereafter at Cancola until the end of the year. This is a serious and a sensitive matter um, and the Minister has been very careful in her comments about um, the requirement of the review and how that's to be carried out. It's important also to say Deputy MacDonald uh, that there was no reduction uh, in the uh, domiciliary care allowance of, uh, of €309.50 uh, Euro um, um, payable in respect of each child. Thank you. Deputy MacDonald. Well, uh, uh, as ever, Taoiseach, you haven't actually answered <laughs> my questions. The, the, the matter wasn't the rate of the allowance. The, the, the matter at hand is the awarding of the allowance. Uh, and I, I, I very much hope that you are aware that when your government wrote out to these families across the country uh, talking about a review of the award of that allowance to their child and to their family, that you have caused them very considerable distress. I know that you have accepted that the process by which this uh, allowance is awarded is flawed, it lacks transparency and it must be reformed. But in the meantime, Taoiseach, you have to give some level of reassurance to families with children with severe disabilities that their payment is not under threat. And I want you here in the Dáil today to make that commitment. Meanwhile, the review of the process is underway. Can you commit that no child and no family will have their payment withdrawn? I think that's a straightforward question, and I think it's a question that you have to give a straightforward uh, answer to.
Yes or no? Once, uh, once an allowance is granted under anything to do with the Department of Social Protection, uh, these things are always granted under certain conditions and eligibility terms. The same applies to every other allowance under the Department of Social Protection. Um, and clearly, um, if evidence were to come to light that a person drawing unemployment assistance or unemployment benefit or any other allowance was doing so not in accordance with the conditions, obviously that carries its own repercussions. Uh, the Minister... Sorry, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that every, every allowance, every allowance... Hold on, hold every, on, hold on. You, this, the question is not yours. The question is not yours now. The question is raised by Deputy McDonald. And every allowance is issued by the Department of Social Protection. Yes, yes. Well, there's, there's no reason for any allowance uh, to be changed until there's a policy change, if there's a policy change. And what the, what the Minister has set out last May is to have a review of the policy of the domiciliary care allowance. I repeat again, there's been no reduction in the, in, in, in the payment, in the payment uh, of, of uh, 309.50. In fact, in, in, um, the, 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 there are now 6,000 extra allowances have been granted in this case. 6,000 extra. Uh, and that's 2,000 net since 2009 with 40% uh, of parents receiving carer's allowance also. So, you... you are, Sorry, Deputy, you've had your say, would you please allow the teacher? Sorry, Deputy, you're not allowed into a play. Deputy McDonald. Deputy McDonald. I... Deputy The Minister has set out her intention to have the process of review commenced by mid-July and that monthly meetings will take place until the review is complete towards the end of the year. There is no reason to believe in any circumstance that the domiciliary care allowance would be taken if anybody I would be reduced pending completion of the policy review. Do I make myself clear? Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There has been no reduction in this. There is no intention to reduce anybody. The Minister is carrying out a review starting in mid-July with monthly meetings. I don't see any reason for anybody to be reduced in respect of this allowance until that's completed and see what the review actually shows up.